Jack, you want to help us open mm. up the parcel? G'day. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing uh, my latest package from Japan. Oh, that's a bold one. Uh, alrighty. Welcome to Chestnut Nags uh, Tools from Japan. Chestnut Nag is my handle on eBay. Hello, Alan. Hello. Uh, it's a very big box, but uh, it's really only got I'm one. Alan. Yes, you're Alan. It's really only got one big tool in it, and it was too big to, to send by a ship. Are you ready to open it up? Yes. Yeah, okay. Now you know that not everything in here is yours, right, don't you? Okay. You, you, okay, you, that's, you. Very, oh, that's very sharp. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the one doing it. I'd actually, I was preferring Arlen to do it, but... Where's, where's the join? It'd be good if we could save that paper for the bubble wrap. I don't know if we're just going to cut it open. Oh. Yes. There's a um, lot of grunting and groaning there. Can I have the knife, please? You take the bubble up okay. Okay. And all the rubbish shall go on there. That is that one of my presents. I'm not sure. It's all a bit confusing. So, Arlen. What? Okay, these aren't your presents for now. But Mum got me to get these as rewards for later. Yay, you would love them. And you know how you've been you've been earning the um, the Lego weapons as rewards? Yeah. Well that's what they're gonna be for. Yeah, 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 I got a deal on it. Why have you ordered so much Lego? Why have you ordered so much Lego, Daddy? Why have you ordered so much Lego, Daddy? Oh, right. Well, Bedlam is over. Basically, what happened was I was looking at some other stuff. And um, I saw the sets of Lego in the background and said, ah, oh, well, how about them? And snaffled them. Arlen, we're in the process of um, finally finalizing a diagnosis for Arlen being on the autism spectrum. And Lego is just one of those things that he really relates to and really helps him calm down and relax when he's not flat out excited. So back to the tools. The saw. Now, you know I was saying before about some things are too big to be sent by ship. Don't go to the logic. Uh, well, they send them by plane, and the one that was too big is this saw. Oh. Beautiful. So the other thing that didn't get sent out uh, via ship, 1.8 litres of camellia oil. Mm. And with it, we've got these two little doobers. So these are, uh, you fill these up with the oil, and then uh, it wicks up to here, and you can you know, basically paint it onto your tools and so on. It's a much easier way of uh, easily, you know, easily getting it out. Uh, this season I've finished the awesome pack down of my beehives and we've got all the wax to render. And I'm going to be mixing it in a diff number of different proportions with 
the camellia oil, but also some pine resin, some of which will be designed as a protective coating for tools for more uh, longer term storage, a bit something that's a bit stickier, uh, so it stays on the blade, and also for a timber finish. But I've got to finish the rendering of the beeswax that I got from the orphan pack down. So that's it for this box, really only two tool related things uh, in that box. The rest of it was Lego for the kids. But these are the things that didn't fit in in the other five boxes that I've got coming. Uh, 154 kilos of stuff. Planes, chisels, uh, some natural sharpening stones, some synthetic sharpening stones. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Just a quick update. Uh, yesterday I was checking the tracking site and the first box of tools has arrived in Sydney. Uh, but interestingly, so has the second one and third one and the, oh, there goes Sam the postie. Um, and the fourth one. So they, like I said, Sydney yesterday, today's Thursday, there is a really good chance they could be here for the weekend. But there is no way I'm going to be able to open four big boxes. I'm not going to get it all done, but I, I will try and get one of these boxes up on, up and maybe a really short lightning video of the unboxing and um, get the stuff up on eBay on Sunday because I would really, really like that cash, um, you know, in the PayPal account for when I'm overseas as a backup. But I've got a video on Japanese toolboxes that I want to finish and get published. It's all filmed, but I, I only just started editing it. Uh, I've got stuff to do on my Everything Else channel. Um, I've got, actually, well, I've actually got two videos that I want to try and get done on this channel before I head off next Thursday. Oh, and I've got a beehive to make and the video to do. So uh, I'm not going to get it all done. I'm, not, I'm, oh, I'm prospecting stuff. There's a, there's a spot I've got to go back and clean up because there was some really good gold there and I don't want to leave that behind for four or five weeks. So it's all crazy. I haven't done any international travel since I was a kid, so it's, it's a bit daunting. Uh, so if any of you guys have got any suggestions, um, especially if you've been to India, um, like things like travel insurance, don't have a clue. Um, so yeah, any suggestions, I would really love to, <laughs> I'd really love to hear them. Because as much as I've got this image of myself as an international travel, because I've been around the world three times, the problem is I just did it before I was seven. I, 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 it's very hard to describe my emotions. Um, Excited, terrified, scared, daunted. Uh, there's a whole gamut of stuff going on. But anyway, catch you guys later. Stay tuned for the videos that are coming up. I'm going to get at least one, maybe two out before I go on this channel and you know, at least one more on the other channels, I hope. So catch you guys later. Have fun. Bye-bye.